Hi everybody, I've been a principal for almost half my life, but I've never done this on a forecast video. We'll call this lifelong learning. There are a few lyrics I'd love to share with you before Christmas from one of my favorite Christmas songs by Bruce Coburn. So instead of reading them to you, boring, I want to sing them to you, less boring. Also a little bit more intimidating, but we'll try it anyway. Here goes. Like a stone on the surface of a still river Driving the ripples on forever Redemption rips through the surface of time In the cry of a tiny babe That's all I'm going to sing for you because I don't think I could do the whole song, but that image of a stone hitting the surface of a very still river and its ripples driving out from there. We have seen 2,000 years of ripples since the birth of Christ, and we are still part of the great story of God's redemption plan, the center point of which was the birth and the life of this Christ child, born as a helpless baby in a manger. On this last week before Christmas, I wish you all a blessed Christmas season with your families, your church communities, and even in your places of work. I'm so glad that the place where I work and the place where our students do their learning every day is a place where we can honor Jesus, not just as the reason for the season, but really as the one in whom all things hold together, including this school. Thank goodness. As you unwrap that 2020 calendar, break it open and get out the little bullet tip marker and add some things on it, uh, just a few things that I'd like to draw your attention to, maybe reminders, maybe it's the first time you're hearing about it. First of all, the celebration of learning happening on January 16, that's the second Thursday after school resumes after the new year. That evening is an open house and a celebration of learning for our students and for prospective families and students for our school. First of all, it is useful to you for you to remember that this is something you can invite other people to. Those who do not yet have children of high school age or maybe have high school children in other schools, uh, it's a great way for them to become acquainted with our school and learn more about the possibilities. So that's the open house part of it. The celebration of learning part really means that all of our students, all of our families, and extended families are invited to be here that evening between 7 and 9 o'clock. And so we invite you, parents, to just be aware of a couple things. First of all, we would love it if you were there. And it's good if in conversation with your children you could reinforce that it's an evening that they are strongly encouraged slashed expected to be at. So we're hoping that all of our students are here. And if they say something to you like, I don't really have anything to do that night. My teachers haven't you know, told me I have to do it. They are really expected here and they will have a role. So it is their responsibility along with their teachers to make sure that it is well understood what every student's role is that night. But they have a role here and they have something to share. So keep that in mind as you have conversations with your sons and daughters. Another thing coming in the new year is the January series, which I told you about two weeks ago. Calvin University in Grand Rapids, Michigan does this marvelous, marvelous series in January. It goes from January 8th all the way to January 28th on every weekday. So 15 straight weekdays between 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. It's free of charge, a very noteworthy group of speakers. You will see more about this. In fact, we'll put a link to the list of speakers and topics for you to look at on this forecast right below my video. But just know that you are very, very welcome to be here every day or on occasion through that month. So let me end by saying this. As I started with, I wish you all a blessed Christmas, a very, very happy and blessed 2020. I hope that despite the fact that we hope we all enjoy this week prior to Christmas, as I always do, it's so festive. Uh, I hope that we all enjoy a good Christmas break, including our students for two solid weeks off. That's okay. Have a blessed Christmas. We'll talk to you in the new year.